Um, my name is Sue Dimmock. I'm a poet and an academic, and I've been a member of the Writer's Studio since the very, very beginning. I work at the University of Leicester in the School of Education, where I'm a senior lecturer, and I run the PGC programme there, and I also carry out my research, which is about the teaching of poetry in secondary schools. I was very lucky when I was extremely young to be encouraged to write poetry by a wonderful teacher at school who um, helped me to write what became my first major piece of writing, which was a poem about men landing on the moon, which I can still remember and recite off by heart. Um, and that poem was photocopied, you know, a very strange sort of textured photocopy that, that they had, like they had in those days, put up on a wall and lots of people saw it and that kind of legitimised the process of writing and from that point on that was what I wanted to do, I wanted to write poetry and all through my junior school and my secondary school I was really lucky again in that I had lovely teachers who wanted to encourage me to write and now it's my turn and I really want to enable young teachers to give something back as it were and to encourage them to to write with young people in the classroom and to encourage people to explore poetry in all its different forms. Last summer I was invited to evaluate um, a, a very new um, training scheme for spoken word educators that was developing at another university and I was lucky enough to spend some time with these young very talented poets to, and to explore their experiences of going into classrooms for the first time and enabling young people to find their own voices and to perform their work. And I'm now involved in the next stage of the project. And it's inspiring me to think about ways in which I can develop something similar, perhaps, with beginning teachers that I've trained in Leicester and, and in the area. And I'm, I'm hoping to develop that very soon. The first poem I want to read is called Keepers of the Abbey. And this was a poem that I modelled the process of writing um, when I was working with my PGCE students on a day where we took our students off site to Cork Abbey to look at ways in which the environment there could inspire them to write. In the morning we were given a tour behind the scenes by somebody who was involved in making repairs and keeping the state of Cork Abbey as it was in 1985 when it was first opened to the public. And some of the things she said were just a gift for poetry. So I used that to model the writing process with my own students. And this is a poem that's in progress called Keepers of the Abbey. Keepers of the Abbey. We can't replace, replaster, revarnish, repair, restore. But we can recycle the pheromone traps trace the carpet beetles, bookworms, woodworms and their trail of deadly eggs. We can't clean the cork muck, but we can glean the skin of those coming in since 1985. We can't polish and preserve, but we can conserve the rust, dab and dust in shifts, three staff over four years. I can't get excited about rust and mould, dust and holes moths make, but I can tell you about insect infestations in the next room, and I do know that blue fades first, no matter how we keep light low, trap airflow, watch under our microscope for each summer's passing. And the second poem I'm going to read um, is taken from my most recent collection, Moon at the Park and Ride, which was published by the lovely Shoestring Press back in July 2012. And this is a short poem about the ceramicist Bernard Leach. Um, a couple of years ago, I went to visit his original pottery down in Cornwall at Higher Stenach. And this poem is about the processes that he was engaged in and his life too. Leach at Higher Stenach. The place where his hands shaped and steadied and spun each pot into frozen music, worked out shrinkage and glazes, blue, tenmoko, ying ching, and, after anxious kiln hours, made his mark. Wives came and went, fragile clay stayed strong. 
His lines were all, the rim, the edge.